One of the largest e-commerce retention marketing platforms, Yotpo, just rolled out their newest feature and they already had things such as loyalty, reviews, UGC, subscription, even SMS marketing in the past few years. And finally, they rolled out with their own email marketing capability. And today I will show you how it can be used, how it's different than other popular e-commerce email tools, what are the strengths, the weaknesses. We will go through the automations, the campaigns, the price. If you are ready to jump into it, let's go to my computer and let's check out your Po emails. If you are on the website of Yotpo, you can get a demo by their team and after you will have the email um, capability. So this is a real account. As you can see, SMS and email, they come together. Uh, this is built inside the SMS tool that we already use for this client. So this is why you have access to email. How it really looks like so sometimes uh, you know you can mix up SMS with email marketing because they are in in one place basically this is the home uh, section the dashboard you can see the revenue coming from this channel both email and SMS how much was spent the ROI number of orders you can change the time uh, frame here and uh, basically you can create your first email campaign here <clears throat> this is the email builder I would say it's not not that bad uh, compared to MailChimp or Klaviyo, but deal, there is a lot of things to do. So actually, when you build the email, you already have to figure out the audience, the segmentation. These are already created uh, for SMS marketing, and I believe this uh, uh, integrates with Klaviyo actually, what we use for email. So it's very simple to integrate the data from Klaviyo to Yotpo, and I'm pretty certain that it's one of the goals of the Yotpo team that people they are able to pull all that all, all their data into Klaviyo uh, sorry from Klaviyo into Yotpo so it uh, make it easier to migrate so if I want I can pick this segment let's say I can exclude audiences if I want um, skip contacts who got an email from you in the past eight hours so this is kind of smart sending uh, and you can change in the general settings how long that time frame should be so you can uh, set up um, quiet hours, uh, smart sending period, which is eight hours for here, uh, country limitations, you can limit the countries both for email and SMS, uh, sender details, sender name, sender email. Uh, you can set up a domain for, uh, for sending emails. And now at the beginning of 2024, Yahoo and Gmail, they are changing the rules of the game. They will be more strict with sending domains. So actually I would highly recommend using this uh, if you have at least 5,000 subscribers then uh, you should set up a sending domain and uh, it's not that difficult nowadays so you will have a dedicated email sending domain here you can put the email subject line you can add emojis as well if you want uh, and personalized tags first name last name and a few other details um, yeah edit content so now we are going to the email builder you can create templates as well I will show you in a minute uh, now I will close this so this is the builder I would say it's pretty standard so yeah there are these different areas you can add links images um, copy you know the usual stuff um, you can pick the structure of the email email here how many columns you want to have if I want I can add uh, three different columns for this section uh, and then there are block uh, yeah I can add the image I would say it's pretty close to Clavio to be honest like product recommendation that's just something very you know it reminds me to that uh, best sellers newest products um, the orientation can be changed and all of that I would be really interested to see where this data comes from so it comes from Shopify or maybe even from Clavio that would be interesting to see uh, I can uh, I can pull customer reviews if I want but I uh, need to uh, set up your pull reviews so this is one benefit of using your pull email that uh, the reviews are in the same platform and it directly pulled in same with loyalty and loyalty personalization it integrates with Canva which is really interesting so I will pull this here and yeah it integrates with Canva Canva profile and I can just pull 
million different things. Uh, banner, social, logo, spacer, uh, all of that. Content library where you can add, uh, create, you know, those content pieces that you already created before. So in overall, I would say it's a pretty smart builder. And uh, yeah, actually I'm surprised how good it is. And also you can send a uh, test email to your email address so you can see it in your real email inbox how the email will actually look like. Uh, I can save this as a template. So the email is created and you can add a discount here. It's interesting that they put this uh, separately from the email builder. So you can pick each customer gets a different code or all customers get the same. We typically use personalized coupon code. So we pick this one. Free shipping can be added as well. You can pick the country. Actually, that's very smart. Or you can use a percentage or a fixed amount. Um, yeah, there are no more rules that you can use if uh, you want to use more rules uh, for example a uh, coupon code for a certain product then uh, or, or above a certain amount of purchase then it's better to go into Shopify and set this up there directly uh, this kind of URL landing page so yeah and then schedule so send now schedule later and these are, these are the time zone options this is where Clavio really excels it's, it's still good I would say so storm time zone which is US central or recipient time zone and uh, yeah if in the time in time zones where the scheduled time is in the past email sent email will be sent now which is really interesting so yeah recipient time zone we usually pick this one and now we send this email I won't schedule it but we could after we check the test email you can also preview this here in your browser that's quicker and of course on mobile as well so always optimize for mobile first that's my experience most people they open the email in their mobile so this is the email builder and uh, you can see SMS and email campaigns together if you'd like so now campaign planner both for email and SMS this is a kind of library of different emails and I really like that they have these templates you know people they can use these so for example St. Patrick's Day I, ch I just pick this template and it's not that bad so it's it can be used of course it's not high level or, or very branded but it's not bad I think and here you can find your email template yeah so so uh, these are not bad templates I think the template that I saved previously it should be also here yeah it's here at my template and if I want I can just create an email either either in a campaign or a flow so I just click campaign and voila I'm here again so this is how campaigns work uh, for email marketing okay so now let's go into flows and automations and these are the currently active flows I will go to flow template and what I <clears throat> realized here is that uh, it says all email SMS but actually these flows in most cases they contain both email and SMS together so actually it's not really separate so if I go to abandon checkout and uh, I want to edit this flow then you will see that first it sends an SMS and then there is a conditional split and then an email is sent if they haven't purchased yet and then uh, another split and then another email is sent so basically one SMS and two emails. I don't recommend this as a best practice because uh, we usually send both email and SMS in different uh, time periods, you know. Uh, here it's uh, quite linear, so there is an SMS and after two emails. And uh, yeah, I'm not a, not a fan of this. Also, this is how you can edit the design in a flow. So this will open up the email template that is created. And now I will go back and if you want, you can added the SMS here so you know I think this uh, flow builder is more optimized to SMS than email at the moment should be improved in the future because uh, email is uh, you know there are more things to change than for an SMS but uh, yeah so that being said I think it's still really good that there are these templates and you can mix SMS flows with email flows and then we go to automations which is uh, quite uh, similar I would say you can create a new automation but this is only SMS as I can see and the last piece is email templates but what I noticed it <laughs> brings me back to campaigns so you know there are
are still some bugs here and uh, I'm sure those will be fixed. I think campaigns now work very well already. You can use those and why I really like because if you have your loyalty referral program and your subscription and reviews in Yotpo, you can have the edge by using one platform for all of these plus emails. So you can set up campaigns and discounts and different, you know, uh, promotions with email campaigns very efficiently. I think these flows and automations, it's still more for SMS marketing. Email is just something complimentary if you want to do that. And when it comes to other things, so audience, there is not much change here. So, you know, you have your uh, SMS list and uh, an email list. You can see those here. You have your segments and you can find them here too. Let's go to list and segments. And uh, yeah, here we can uh, see the segments. Um, one thing I, I don't find here and it would be good. So we cannot differentiate between list and segments maybe yeah so most of them are segments but I cannot see what is a list and I just don't know how to filter for those uh, that would be quite useful to see as you can see there are many segments in this and many of them they are created in uh, Klaviyo or Shopify so for example guys who spend more than 300 bucks we want to view those people uh, it's almost 3,000 people and yeah we found the names of these people we can send the campaign from them. Actually, that's quite good. And we can update the segment rules if we want. Now I will go back and I will create an audience. So create from a list, generate with Taylor, create from segment. That's something quite new, I would say, this Taylor uh, thing. So I will try this now. I think this is an AI based tool, so I will just try. So find me people who have never purchased in the store. Let's see. <coughs> Yeah, so uh, 53 out of 10,000 on SMS list and uh, this many people from the email subscribers. I am not sure if it's this is uh, correct. I think not. So yeah, I will just try to manually do this. Create segment. So these are the different options how you can create a segment with Yotpo. Customer behavior, that's the one we use the most. Customer attributes, location, SMS actions, order info, email actions, predictive data, which is is quite cool actually and uh, not many tools they have uh, predictive data likely to buy again that's something very useful customer behavior so I will pick number of orders equals zero and save segment let's see my new segment it's 17,000 people and most of them they are email subscribers so it looks like the the AI tool when it find only a couple hundred people then it was not correct so yeah I would still not trust this Taylor uh, AI tool and uh, I think manual segmentation is still better and more precise so yeah uh, what I like though is uh, how many options you have for segmentation yeah after taking a look at this then I think after Clavio this tool has the best segmentation options even better than Sandlane I think active on site edit card different customer attributes uh, tagging account status their SMS actions uh, order info email actions they open an email click the email and even predictive data so let's say uh, likely to buy again let's save this segment yeah so this is more than a thousand people and basically we can e send them an email campaign uh, very easily send the campaign email or SMS and we can just target them immediately with some nice campaign the software says they are very likely to buy so I I trust its opinion and hopefully they will buy here we can see all subscribers here's a chat which is not enabled but we you can connect this with Zendesk and gorgeous as well here are the analytics of uh, Fiotpo so this is an overview I think this is SMS and email together so you can see those in one place and campaign analytics this is SMS and email together as well yeah so here we can see all campaigns you can see the type if it's SMS or email and then flow analytics very similar now all of them are SMS of course and you can see subscriber analytics as well so the number of new opt-ins opt-outs and uh, yeah all of those both for email and SMS and you can change the time frame here there is one more 
thing I want to show, which is the actual pricing. So how Yotpo is different than many other tools. So they charge you based on usage. And I really like this for SMS. Uh, SMS is different because you pay per uh, SMS sent out. And uh, yeah, there, there is a balance you have to uh, top up, which is here. Um, and for email, the structure, it looks like this. So basically you pay for uh, email sent out. Now it's not active, so you cannot see the prices here. But basically, the more emails you send, the more you pay. So they made this very similar to SMS marketing. And why I love this? Because it doesn't depend on your list size. And most email tools, they charge you based on your list size. But this tool, Yotpo, they charge uh, you based on the actual email usage, how many emails you send out. And the more you send, you get into different tiers and the per email pricing decreases, which is also great. So they made this very similar to their SMS pricing. And that's something that is not uh, common to see in this industry. So I'm really, you know, I'm really excited. And uh, yeah, let's see where this whole thing goes with Yotpo. I think now they are becoming a really strong tool uh, also because they have a solid background and infrastructure. It's a big company. It's a unicorn company. Yeah, I really root for Yotpo and let's see where this goes. I think now it's uh, it's really in the top three or four tools when it comes to e-commerce email marketing. I hope you enjoyed this video and you could learn something about e-commerce and if you did make sure that you go down you hit the subscribe button also hit the notification bell so you get updated about my newest weekly videos. Also we collected the top 100 email templates that we sent out on behalf of our clients after sending out more than 400 million emails. Go down and check out that free downloadable template and before you leave I will give you one more thumbnail check out that video as well most likely it's related to this video see you in my next video yeah.